folks very good morning good afternoon good evening to whom i've been watching a different time period i literally welcome you all to this another video session so in this video analysis we'll be having a discussion on important economies or full forms okay in a very precise manner if i say in the field of cyber security with their brief explanation we'll be having a discussion on that and uh, there are very short uh, number of uh, or you can say full forms which which is very important prior whenever we are entering into the field of cyber security and it is also been asked in every interview right so it is uh, basically on in perspective with interview only i have made on that and i hope you will definitely ask that interview in a very fast attempt be positive and be vibrant with your answers right uh, such that the, the, the interviewer get a skilled proficient uh, analyst or cyber security experts from you okay so let us begin the session so one is apt or you can say aes so it is uh, what is aes so aes basically uh, stands for advanced encryption standard so aes is a widely used uh, symmetric encryption algorithm okay symmetric encryption algorithm again i repeat advanced encryption standard aes okay it basically stands for uh, we can say it is widely used for symmetric encryption algorithm so it is employed to secure sensitive data and communication okay then after vpn we all know that virtual private network so vpns uh, create secure and encrypted connection over the internet allowing user to as uh, private network securely okay so this is how actually the vpn works okay we or we can in a say we can say private virtual networks then after tls transport layer security what is it transport layer security so transport layer security is a cryptographic protocol okay that ensures privacy and data integrity of communication over a computer network commonly used for uh, securing web, tra web traffic okay that's how actually a transport layer security basically works or we can say tls so transport layer security is a cryptographic protocol that basically ensures privacy and data integrity of communications okay over a computer network okay commonly uh, it is commonly used for uh, securing web traffics domain name system or we can even say dns so domain name system translates human readable uh, domain names into ip addresses facilitating the identification of uh, resources on on the internet okay so that's how actually domain name system basically works so make a note folks uh, dns basically stands for domain name system you all know that okay tls stands for security a transport layer security is a cryptographic protocol that ensures privacy and data integrity of the communication over the internet network commonly used for securing web traffic then after we have dns the dns basically translates human readable domain names into ip address facilitating the identification of resources on the internet okay so every 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 human readable domain has unique ip addresses that's how actually the dns works then after coming to ids intrusion detection system so ids basically monitors the network or system activity for malicious uh, malicious uh, uh, things which has been done on or we can say security policies violation on report them that is how actually the intrusion detection system intrusion detection system basically works or ids then after intrusion preventive system so it is a preventive measure right so how actually the ips security devices or software application that basically monitors the network and the system activities for any kind of malicious activity and takes proper action to prevent them then after sim we all know that so sim is what a security information and event management so sim solution collects and analyzes the data logs okay or log data from various systems and devices and uh, it provides a comprehensive security event management then after we have ddos distributed denial of service so distributed denial of service attacks flawed end network okay uh, services are or we can say websites with traffic to overwhelm its resources and make it unavailable to user so that's how actually the ddos has been working then after coming to public key infrastructure so public key infrastructure uh, is a system of hardware okay 
is what is a system of hardware software policies and uh, standard that manages digital key and certification facilitating uh, secure communication that's how uh, actually the public key infrastructure basically been working okay that's how uh, k pki is been utilized so pki is a system of hardware software policies and infrast and, and and standards that 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 manages digital key certificates facilitating a uh, secure communication okay then after uh, two uh, fa or mfa so multi-factor authentication multi-factor authentication or can say two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication so two-factor authentication uh, adds an additional layer of security by uh, re by 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 uh, requiring users to provide uh, two or more verification for uh, factors that may be a password or mobile authentication code or even call before gaining the access then after coming to security operation center or you can say SOC. so a SOC is a centralized unit that monitor uh, detect respond to and mitigate uh, cyber security threats and incidents WAF web publication uh, firewall so WAF is a uh, that I can say WAF basically protects web application from 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 various online threats such as SQL injection cross-site scripting and other uh, forms of cyber attacks okay so then after we have common vulnerability explodes so common vulnerability exposed or we can say CVE is a uh, directory or a direct directory directory common vulnerability and exploits common vulnerabilities and expo expose so common vulnerability and expose is a directory of publicly known information security vulnerabilities and expose okay each cve entire uh, entry pre represents a unique identifier uh, for a specific set of vulnerabilities which has been published then after io iso and iec 27 001 information security management system information security management system standard information security system information security management system standard uh, is an international standard for information security management and uh, it basically provides a symmetric approach to manage sensitive company information then after that remote assist trojan we all know that remote assist trojan or we can even say simply rat is a type of malware that that basically allows an attacker to control a system remotely and uh, it is often used for unauthorized access and data theft then after byod bring your device bring your own device so byod uh, basically refers to a policy or uh, of, of allowing employees to use their personal devices such as uh, smartphones or laptops uh, for 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 uh, work purpose okay uh, raising security consideration uh, CSIRT uh, that is all about uh, computer uh, security incident response team CSIRT okay so uh, CSIRT uh, basically is a group of cyber security experts responsible for preparing for uh, responding to and mitigating the impact of cyber security incidents so that's how actually the uh, computer system or computer security incident response team basically works with coming to IOT is very uh, a very very regular concept so iot is all about internet of things we all know that and it refers to the network of interconnected devices and and, and the objects that have been embedded with sensors software and other technologies which is basically enabling them to collect and enhance and exchange the data then after gdpr so gdpr basically stands for general data protection regulation so general data protection regulation is a european union regulation that uh, that addresses you know uh, that addresses data protection and, and and privacy for individuals within the eu and european economic area that's how actually we call it as gdpr then after SOC 2 what is this soc2 so it is a service organization control tool is a framework for managing the security data uh, that leads to security or uh, service providers and it also ensuring they meet uh, specific security vulnerabilities or availabilities processing the entity grid and confidentiality or we can even simply say si ci at rate right so uh, that's how actually the soc2 services has been enabled so these are the common enablability or full forms of the critical uh, full forms are critical to understand various aspects of 
of cybersecurity ranging from encryption of the network security to compliance the incident response so uh, i will not be taking much of your time folks so i hope you have enjoyed this session or full palms of different concepts which are been asked and uh, probably we will be getting uh, another set of uh, uh, another set of uh, list of uh, full forms or economy of full forms so that's that such that you will get an understanding regarding what actually the thing is and how actually we can we are going to explain whenever you are attempting for any interview okay basically okay so uh, let me end the video itself for you folks and i hope you have enjoyed the session thank you